Hello, good morning, all my great students. Okay, how are you today? Hopefully, all of you are in the great conditions. Okay, for our discussions today, we are discussing about simple presence. And there are two points of our discussions. We're going to learn uh, when we're going to use simple presence. And we also going to learn how is the structure form for simple presence. More specific, today it's about the positive form, affirmative form. Okay, let's start with the condition. When we going to use simple presence? There are four possible situations or conditions when we going to use simple presence. The first one is about the habit. Habit, it means that the activities that we are going to repeat it again and again. Jadi perbuatan yang sifatnya berulang-ulang atau dengan kata lain adalah kebiasaan. For example, I always drink coffee at work. She gets up at seven every day. Jadi berulang setiap hari atau setiap minggu atau setiap bulan. Okay, the second condition about the things that are true in the present. Jadi hal yang sifatnya benar pada kondisi saat ini. He works on Wall Street. She is 60 years old. We live in New York. Sifatnya benar pada kondisi sekarang saat ini. Okay, the third condition when we are talking about the general fact or the truth. Kalau kita membicarakan tentang fakta, kebenaran yang sifatnya ilmiah. For example, the earth is not flat. The sun rises in the east. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. And the last possible situation or condition is when we're talking about the future timetables or schedule. Ya, yeah, berhubungan dengan penjadwalan, oke, okay, untuk masa depan yang sifatnya fix, yang sudah pasti akan terjadi. My train arrives tomorrow. We fly to Paris on Monday. Classes begin next week. So here are all possible conditions when we're going to use simple presence. Okay, the first one, when we talk about habit. The second one, when we talk about the things that are true in the presence. And then the third one, when we talk about the general facts or truth. And the last one is about future timetables or schedule. Okay, next. Yeah, we're going to discuss the structure form or the grammar form. Okay, here, the pattern. Okay, ini adalah bentuk pola kalimatnya. Okay, we are discussing the positive form. Kita diskusikan pola kalimat positif dulu. Okay, for positive form, if the subject I, you, we, they, we're going to have verb one. Verb one or what we call as the infinitive. Kata kerja dasar. Kata kerja yang tidak ditambah apapun. Okay. For example, we often go to school. Yeah, for one, tanpa ditambahkan apapun. They clean this room twice a week. Clean, nggak ada akhiran apapun. For one. However, if the subject he she it, kalau subjeknya he she it, atau John, atau Mary, atau the cat, the dog, okay, the house, uh, we're going to use for one too, but we need to add s or es. Jadi kita perlu menambahkan s atau es. For example, he often goes tambahkan s. She cleans tambahkan s. Uh, the question, okay, when we going to add s? When we going to add es? Jadi pertanyaannya, kapan kita akan menambahkan s atau es kalau subjeknya he said? Ya. Yeah. The answer is, it depends on the ending of the verb. Jadi tergantung akhiran kata kerjanya. Okay, yeah, for the next part, yeah, we're going to discuss about the rule, the condition. Okay, when we're going to have S, when we're going to have ES.